Hello everybody, my name is Bayern Buller and it's a pleasure to me to introduce you to how to use open radios. So let's get started. Radios is a finite element solver um, using for nonlinear dynamic events. So basically it's a crash solver where its roots is based on the Dynas 3D major uh, code are used at also different other solvers. It's a commercial uh, solver recently now open sourced by Altair and this is where we would like to get started. So for this purpose I uh, have here a fresh installed Windows 11 session on my laptop and let's get started. For this purpose we just open the Open Radios website, which you can find at www.openradios.org. So this is a very good starting point because we can directly go to the download section. And this leads us to GitHub, Open Radios repository, and directly to download the pre-compiled executables for Linux as well as for Windows and the source code and so on. So we are targeting for Windows 64. And in order to be able to show you also first steps, we go back to openradios.org using the quick links and going to user documentation. Here also to make it easier I would like to uh, use also the uh, sexy graphic user interface created by Paul Sharp and Hot Aosa, uh, one from uh, our uh, community who is very engaged as well here, and go for the latest graphic user interface script, download for Windows. And as well, we need also some examples. So let's go for radios example, which is this lovely bumper beam. So it's a little bit larger model. It um, contains the full front bumper system with crash box and an artificial rigid body representing the rest of the car. And we are going here for a pole impact crash case. Um, using elastoplastic materials uh, with fracture, so you see elements failing because reached their uh, final limit, as well as also using some examples in the LS Dyna format. So in order to, uh, due to time being, I would like to go for a smaller model, which is a tensile test for material validation. You see an elastoplastic uh, dog bone used also in reality for testing materials up to its limits. So let's get this model in the LS Dyna format. And this bumper beam as well. Okay. Now since we have all we need, Control C, and here due to its uh, fresh system, no software is installed except uh, Office. I create a new folder, work folder, and dropping everything here. Now unzipping the open radios executables. And we are basically ready to go. If you would like to use it, you can already use it out of the box as it is. Just go for the GitHub. There's a very well written description by our colleagues. And here you will find a section how to run open radios for Linux, for Windows, 
For example, here you just need to open a command shell and adding these environment variables. You just need to modify the first one, adding the path to your open radios folder. The others just copy and paste, so no need to do anything. But even to save this effort, it can be done easier. We downloaded this script from uh, for using the graphic user interface. I moving it to the open radios folder and unzip it directly within this folder because it must be located here. So this one I can now delete. Now I'm creating a new folder containing my models. Drop in my bumper beam radius model and my tensile test in Elstana format. Creating a new folder for my radius model and new folder containing my Dyna model and zipping these files. For the radios model, I would like also to have some animation file files because I know that this one does not contain the animation files. So I will add the request for the animation files. First, setting the frequency starting at time zero, each one millisecond. I want to obtain in addition to the H3D file. I want to have results in animation format for all elements containing the on Mises stress. As well as the plastic strain. And for all shells damage in all integration points. That's all. Okay, now let's go. I go to this scripts folder. It contains the Python executable, just starting it. And first, selecting this small tensile test model, which is a really small model, in ls format. Due to this laptop contains eight physical cores, so I want to use them all. And after that, the results should be converted from animation files to VTK and the time history file should be also converted to the column separated value file. Eight co uh, cores should be used and the number of threads should be set to eight and add the job to my queue. And here we are. The starter is starting, converting it to the radios and launching open radios using this model. In the meantime, I can add also my radios for model. 
and adding it to the queue. While it is computing, I can show the queue. This is my larger model within the queue. And I can add as many models in the queue as I would like to have. So the tensor test is a very small one, so it takes just a few seconds. Now the results being converted to VTK. And now the second one, the larger bumper beam model, starting and producing result files in H3D as well as in animation files. So here one can see for the first model, reading Alistana input model, interpreting its and starting the radius job and converting the results. Which we can already see and already post process, but this will be targeted to a different uh, video. So here we are with the results. This model is still running and you see the result animation files are created here so you can watch it and fly. You can even open your post processor which can be for example Hyperview from Hyperworks and also check already the results which are appearing here step by step. So the runtime set here is 100 milliseconds and the result should be produced every millisecond. So let's wait here. It takes just a few minutes. So, as it comes now close to the end, you can also hear it because the fan is now quite loud because Radios is taking all the resources it will find, it will get from the computer. So, you see on the performance bar that Radios is taking all the available CPU resources, all the eight cores are fully in use. Okay, now as you can see the run is finished, normal termination. Now results are being converted into VDK for being able to be post-processed with any post-processor. And that's all. All completed. So if you like this video, please let me know and also what else you would like to see uh, within these short uh, videos around open radios. Thank you very much for your attention and bye bye.